game review. Oh wait, wait. Um, hold on. No, no, stop. God damn it. Unprofessional. Hold on. Uh, I find a pen. Nice pen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Year review. 2018 is over. And it's been absolutely amazing. It's, it's uh, been strange. The channel's taken off in a way that I didn't expect it to over a relatively short period of time. Um, compared to other people, this is obviously not much of a channel growth, but for me it really is. So I have 901 subscribers at this very moment of making this video. I didn't think we were going to get 900 before the end of the year. That's pretty insane. We're at 838 subscribers this year, so that means we had 63 subscribers from the moment this channel was made until the beginning of this year. Let's see if we can do way better next year, and there'll be more series, continuations. It's going to be amazing, so stick around. Looking back into my YouTube video history, the first video I uploaded this year was the Phase 2 Male Saiyan build, then some topics. We had the DLC Extra Pack 2 come out with Ultra Instinct Goku and Jira in the character guides. Is this DLC 6 good or bad? The Phase 3 builds. He had the Ultimate CSE Guide series. Started doing more stock character guides after I realized that I quite like doing the one for Extra Pack 2, because it was the first ones I did. Phase 4 builds, then I started doing some live streams, more stock guides, how to unlock Kefla and Baby's Ultimates, which took off quite well. Then came the 500 subscriber build review, followed by the first episode of Versus Battle. Then the Kai Blu-ray vs DVD comparisons, more stock guides. We started Mod Madness, wow, what a series. <laughs> Still going strong. Uh, we had the Halloween episode, we had more stock guides, we had more Mod Madness. Some Discord only content, which we'll go over in a little bit. We had some more builds with a phase 5 first episode of now something completely different. We had Just Cause 3, more Just Cause 4 with the first impressions and a review. The DLC 8 or Extra Pack 4 videos, and that comes up to now. My predictions for the end of next year are 3,915 subscribers. Let's see if we can smash that completely. I hope we do. Join my Discord! A link will be in the description and on screen. Come chat about Xenoverse. But until then, stay tuned for the upcoming video. Yes, I have a Discord. Nobody knows this. This is the Discord. Say hello. We have different ranks. We've got me. We've got Eduardo English, Major General. Major General Captain Friesolo. And we've got Sergeants of the Battalion, which you can only do after going on the Great Voyage. And you have to join to find out what that is. Behold the robot army and our new privates. We have people who have obviously gone through the Great Voyage and we've got candidates for the Great Voyage as well. To become a candidate, you must be on the Discord for a certain amount of time and be pretty active. And then you'll be able to go on the Great Voyage. And here is Major General Dragon Herald Sensei. We also have the Build Discussion text channel where you can discuss different builds that you're working on with other people and see what works. We have the Meme Forge where our resident Captain Friesolo makes Dragon Ball memes every week. And this is exactly how it happens. We also have the Dragon Herald, which is Sensei's page and mostly just a news channel that anyone can really share in, but it's his kind of channel anyway. And we also have the Zeno Boutique, where Ollie Fox and Eduardo give you great CAC themed outfits. Oh, look at that. Ooh la la. Very nice. Very nice. How about this one? Oh, very nice too. Ooh la la times 20. I would highly recommend you join the Discord for Discord only live streams, extra content, sneak peeks, and great friends. So as I said before, I do some Discord-only live streams. So here's some footage of my Call of Duty games. <laughs> you stupido, huh? You stupid too, huh? Everybody, you stupid, huh? Hey, you want some of this? You want some more? You think you're good? You think you're clever? <laughs> oh no, no! Oh, oopsie! <laughs> Oopsie doodle! Oh, someone done an oopsie too. Oh man, no, 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 no. Ha! Suck on that! <laughs> For those interested in what happens behind the scenes, I also do live streams of editing videos, so I did one of my intro when I made that, all of the graphics and plates and stuff, and then actually animating it, I did that full live stream, which was kind of cool. Your first ultimate is Hell's Flash, Android 16 series. <laughs> I was going to say super move, it's not, is it? No. Your first ultimate is Hell's Flash, Android 16's ultimate finishing fuck. <laughs> Damn it! I can't do it! 
I also like to do quite a bit of Skyrim because I really enjoy that game. This is really realistic. Really the only way I'd be able to do it. <laughs> it looks like nothing's happened. Oh, he's rich. It looks like he's still sleeping. It's gonna go so well. And he's really close as well. Oh well, he's not moving. Boosh! <laughs> Straighten the kneecaps. How is his shade still alive? Boosh! Now, the top three memes of 2018 on this channel. Number one, Gary the Goat. The final obstacle lays before us, and which I will need a special help from a special thing. You may think this cruel, but it's for the greater good. It's not every day that you get to say you're doing something important by putting explosives on a dead goat. I mean, this, this ride up here, I'm spending a lot of time with this goat. We're going to call him Gary. Gary the Goat. Gary the Goat, your sacrifice will not be forgotten. It will not be in vain. The actions you will perform on this day will be told throughout the history books and throughout the rest of time. For you are the most courageous of goats. I like trouble too. I also like Gary the Goat. This may be a moment to pay respects. Please, at this moment, I would be very grateful if everyone were to press F immediately for Gary the Goat. Oh, no! No! Gary! I will avenge you, Gary! Your death will not be in vain. We will accomplish our goals, one way or the other. Thanks to all of you, Gary's death meant nothing! Gary, I shall avenge you. Your memory will live on. You'll be the envy of all the goats in all the kingdoms, in all the fields, in all the world. Gary, my poor sausage. From one of the live streams, the second meme, the double Dodoria meme. Fine, you know, they, you know, they've accomplished that, but at the same time, maybe you don't want the get what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I please say you saw that. And finally, one of the greatest, the one, the only, Jignuts. Your next super move is Power Impact. One of J <laughs> Your next super move is <laughs> I can't, I'm laughing. Your next super move is Power Impact. One of Jign Jignuts. <laughs> Who the hell is Jignuts? Giblets. Giblets. Giblet. The Turkey Man. <laughs> Damn it. Your next super move is Power Impact. One of Giblet's signature moves I can't. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh, F. <laughs> jig nuts. <laughs> Damn, jig nuts. Your first ultimate is ultimate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe what I was about to say. Your first move is ultimate boosh. <laughs> ultimate boosh. <laughs> oh. Right, hold on. I'm going to do what I was going to do, but with that on top of it. Your first ultimate is ultimate boosh. One of Jignut's signature moves that he used in the anime to save the life of Gary the Goat. Oh. Now, let's look at some of the Discord memes for Dragon Ball from Freezalo, the meme smith. Axonius Rex playing as Spongebob. Plankton. Oh no. Totally not Mark. Reasons Mastar Media is a good person. Ugh. Dimps. Brand new DLC character. Meteor Strike. Full power energy weight. Full power energy blast volley. Them feels. Instead of coal, Santa gives the bad children full power energy wave. That's a lot of damage! Boosh! Not so fast, Freezer! And now a couple I did. Discover cheap cancer build. Show it to thousands of people. Complain about cancer online. Complain about cancer online? Much broken. So over. Many god tier. Such best. Wow! Why don't we discover a broken OP build and show it to thousands of people? You get Media Strike. You get Media Strike. Everybody gets Media Strike! Let's run over some of the things that have happened this year. We had the first versus battles, which is where we take two characters who fight in the anime. 
judging by their moves and their super soul as well as their outfit will use a specific variation in conjunction with Dragon Ball Kai footage to put them in an epic rematch to see who would win. If we put them both into a match together a second time but instead of going by who won in the actual fight or by their strengths and feats in the anime, we're going to go over their stats, damage per second and their supers in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 in an epic rematch video with high quality VFX courtesy of an excellent channel that provides free motion graphics which will be in the description of this video and every video going forward I ever have because that's how much I love this guy's work or girl I have no idea I've got a lot of great feedback on this and I've really enjoyed making them the amount of time and effort I put into making the initial graphics which is in every single video which is tailor-made to each of the different characters it's just I really enjoyed the series um, growing up and I wanted to replay that in a way that suited the content I make on the channel in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 fashion and like I say great feedback so far like amazing feedback people really love this it doesn't get a whole lot of views it doesn't get hundreds and hundreds of views or thousands like the builds or the DLC videos but you know they've, they've, they've got their own uh, I'll say fan base um, people really like the idea and how well they're made so I'm definitely going to keep pushing the content and uh, definitely keep pushing up the quality as much as I can to make them as enjoyable as the previous ones were and more enjoyable going forward. So in the future expect one for the Cell Saga, the Boo Saga and every arc in Dragon Ball Super, the movies and custom made what if battles. Ooh la la. This year we also saw the release of the ultimate CAC guide which took an absolute eternity to make which to sum up very briefly was me leveling all of my 8 characters to level 99, resetting all of their stats, height and having no equipment, no super soul and no QQ bang, no clothes, resetting them all with the Dragon Ball so they all have the exact same stats, build and everything so everything's neutral and then testing them one by one to see their defense, vitality, their combat and movement speed, their damage per second and their strike and blast super damage. We've done this by destroying them all with Lilith, Angel of Creation, an amazing mod, uh, which helped me destroy every single one of them in an entertaining way. Then we used Final Form Transformable Caller to test all of their durability, using a mix of his Strike and Key Blast Supers. Then we used Elf Zamasu to test their Key and Stamina regen, to see who had the better stats in this regard. We also tested their stamina recovery by kicking them all in the dick and puss with Android 21, which was hilarious to film and to watch. We then tested their movement and combat speeds against Berta, the fastest in the universe, except for Captain Ginyu, Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, Boo, pretty much any Android, uh, Vegeta after he turned Super Saiyan, uh, Beerus, Cooler, King Cold, um, Pretty much a lot of people actually, come to think of it. Then we tested their Key and Blast Supers against Santa Goku Black, which was fun and also kind of memeable and it was a, a laugh to make. Then we plotted them all on a big table to find out who was the best. We're also currently up to Phase 5 from the character builds. We've come up to the point now where Deborah and Few are levitating above Canton City, plotting their diabolical schemes while the female human and male margin are training with Toppo and Dispo in the space of Universe 11. After an unexpected arrival and time being distorted by Trunks saving Gohan, Tomasu takes the body of future Gohan becoming Gohan Black. They enter the time stream to fix this anomaly. Both of them charging up their furious energy, they enter a violent battle together which she is completely overwhelmed in. Enter Timebreaker Gohan. This new threat makes the male margin enter the battle because he knows how serious this really is. Gohan Black transforms into Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black. An epic match starts with the male margin and female human fighting off against Timebreaker Gohan and Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black. And again, she is completely overwhelmed and knocked to the floor.
petrified because Timebreaker Gohan killed Trunks in the future, which happens to be her father. She goes inside her own mind and fights off avatars of her negative neuroses, in hopes of becoming a better fighter and leaving the past behind. While she is incapacitated, Toppo and Dispo drop down in this alternate timeline to lend a hand to the male Margin who's outnumbered and outgunned. An epic match starts between Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black and Timebreaker Gohan against the fearsome warriors of Universe 11 and members of the Pride Troopers. Our male Margin gets the drop on Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black and decimates him with an Emperor's Death Beam just as the female human is defeating the final avatar with the Spirit Sword inside the world of mind control, unlocking the final memories of the death of Trunks at the hand of Timebreaker Gohan, defeating all of her inner demons and regaining the sense of self she once had. Toppo, Dispo, and the male margin drop down, allowing her to finish off the fight with Timebreaker Gohan, which she does with absolute savagery, in a way that she's never seen herself fight before. Meanwhile, an evil clone Piccolo is above Canton City, about to attack Al Namekian from behind with a special beam cannon which he dodges, and prepares for a violent battle. Dodging his attack, the clone leads him away out of Kontan City. Dropping in the wasteland, they enter a standoff and prepare for a titanic battle. Both fighters are intelligent, anticipating each other's moves, blocking, defending, evading. Meanwhile in space, the female Margin is training with Whis how to be a better fighter. At the same time, the Freezer Ace character and Cooler are training inside Whis's staff, trying to become the best fighters of Universe 7. Meanwhile, in the room of Spirit and Time, Vegeta is training with his uncle for the exact same reason. Whis stops the fight because an unexpected malevolent presence is on Kami's lookout and they go to investigate. It turns out that Tabora has gone through history running amok and he has put a Timebreaker mask on Vegito. His ridiculous strength with the amp of the Timebreaker Mask makes him an unstoppable force and she's unable to do anything against him. Sensing the key disturbance outside, Vegeta rushes out of the room of spirit and time with the male Saiyan and they both enter the fight. Vegeta, like always, rushes in too early and gets sucker punched by Timebreaker Vegito, knocked out the Super Saiyan, and thrown off the lookout. Needing more assistance, Whis beams the Freezer Race character and Cooler out of his staff to see if he is able to defeat this malevolent Time Patroller. Cooler gets sucker punched rushing in just like Vegeta and thrown off the lookout as well. Our golden form, Freezer Race character is insanely strong, but is still not as strong as Timebreaker Vegito in his base form. The male Saiyan rises up from the bottom of the lookout after being dropped off, just as the Freezer Race character catches a cocky Vegito off guard. Transforming into Super Saiyan Blue, he rushes in with a gigantic kick to the face. At the same time, Vegeta lands in the wasteland after being knocked off the lookout. Meanwhile, in space, Hit is training with the male human so they can increase their chances of winning in the Tournament of Power. In the middle of their training, two unexpected guests arrive. It would be Clone Goku and Clone Vegeta, who then attack the male human and hit mercilessly without forethought.
It would also seem that the clone Vegeta inherited the impatience of the original and gets caught off guard by Hit, who catches him in a time skip, throwing him to the earth below. Also at the same time in the sky, our female Saiyan is training with her father Broly, for the same reason to train for the Tournament of Power. Both of them enthralled with the thrill of the fight, unleashing their devastating legendary Super Saiyan powers. In the middle of their fun, they're interrupted by two uninvited guests, Clone Gohan and Clone Freezer, and with this interruption erupts an explosive battle. As the intensity of the battle continues to escalate, they're only enjoying it more and more as the Saiyan blood running through their veins enjoys the thrill of the battle. During their heated exchange of blows and key blasts, Broly manages to down Freezer and explode him with a gigantic meteor, sending him to the ground below. He lands in the wasteland, charges up Ijenji, and attacks the first thing he sees, which happens to be the Namekian fighting off against Clone Piccolo. This two-on-one fight is too much for the Namekian in his base form, and he turns Kaioken times three. Vegeta awakens and rises out of the crater, into the sky, just as Clone Vegeta is falling from space. They meet in mid-air and a massive battle begins between Vegeta, Prince of the Saiyans, and a pathetic clone copy. Their intense battle flies straight past Broly and the female Saiyan as they're fighting off against Clone Gohan. Without the aid of Clone Freezer, Gohan is getting completely brutalized by Broly and the female Saiyan. They launch both of their most devastating ultimate attacks at the same time, annihilating him once and for all. Broly senses the key in space and flies upwards with eager anticipation. Clone Goku catches the male human off guard and throws down a massive Kamehameha towards him just as Broly sneaks up from behind. Now it's his time to show everyone how much he wants to completely brutalize Goku. He lays down a devastatingly brutal beatdown on Goku with a smile on his psychopathic face. Amps up in the heat of battle, he attacks the next thing he sees and goes after Hit, who is having none of it and fights back. Hit awakens his innermost power to fight off against Broly. Universe 6 is strongest fighters. Attacking each other is not in the interest of Champa, who puts Broly in his place. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Namekian and Kaioken is fighting off against Clone Freezer and Clone Piccolo in a two-on-one fight and just manages to catch Freezer off guard. Cooler crashes down in the wasteland after being knocked off Kami's lookout by Time Rake Vegito. Now this has become a two-on-two -two fight. Piccolo fights off against the Namekian in Kaioken and he cannot keep up with his speed and strength. At the same time, Cooler goes after Frieza to find out who's the strongest brother once and for all. As the battle drags on, the clone's stamina reduces and they start to get fatigued. They get overpowered by Cooler and the Namekian, who both catch them off guard and charge up their most ultimate attacks to finish them off once and for all. The battle seemed over, until Cooler went after the Namekian because he wanted more of an interesting fight. Two of Universe 7's strongest fighters and combatants of the Tournament of Power are now going head-to-head -head in a deathmatch in a wasteland. 
wanting to finish this once and for all, he powers back up to Kaioken, and they're going to exchange their most powerful key blasts. Whis is not having that at all, and he knocks out the Namekian with a chop to the neck, evades Call of Supernova, and knocks him out with a finger blast before anyone knew what was going on. The Namekian wakes up in Kanton City, unaware of what's happened. Just as the male Margin and female Human arrive after their mission against Super Saiyan Rose Gohan Black, the female Margin returns, as does the male Human, the male Saiyan, and the female Saiyan. Freezer Ray's character is going to tell the Supreme Kai of Time of the impending threat. This year we also started Mod Madness and we're up to 9 episodes and it's still going strong so here's a collection of my favourite moments. Bingo. Ugh, give me them titties. <laughs> Too slow indeed. Oh, damage! Oh, perfect block. Get the fuck away. <laughs> Come on. Yes, damage! <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. So, let's see what this mod is like. It looks really cool. Hopefully it's super fucking strong. Ah, oh, it's training mode. Dick. Oh! Oh! That was nice. She looks a bit odd though. Very strange. Like she's come out of an 80s rave. <laughs> super Saiyan 4! <laughs> but you weren't expecting that, were you? Oh! This is gonna sting! Oh dear, damage! <laughs> you idiot! Legendary Super Saiyan! What? Oh! That was interesting! He's m massive! Wow! Gigantic! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> this is this is gonna be a ridiculously easy perfect. Ah! Oh, I went for that health. Never mind. <laughs> oh god. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I was excited. Ah! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Ascending Pasenko. Oh! That's a lot of damage. I like that a lot. What? How does that work? What the fuck? Oh no. Buggy. 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 <laughs> this sucks. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Go away. i got to get his signature moves off. Oh no, I've done it to him now. This is a really strong mod, man. Oh! Oh! Oh dear, it's getting wrecked! Bonus mod! Bonus mod! Bonus mod! Bonus mod! Oh, this is epic! Jesus! Wow! Come here! S sausage, come on! Energy wave! Boom! <laughs> There's one move in particular that he has. Oh, that's weird. You don't download a mod to be fair. You download a mod to go Super Saiyan 5 and whip the shit out of Bardock and kick him in the face. That's what you download mods for. You don't download mods to be fair. What the hell, babe? They are falling out of that armor. I'm not going to use that mod. Mother son Kamehameha! How the hell is that? Oh, that's unfortunate! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, I'm gonna do Power Rush. Ugh. What's Killer Friday 13? What?! Oh my god, that's amazing! What the hell is his problem? He's got the same <laughs> instant victory, just do that all game. Pure evil. Oh, it's just your generic. Oh, he turned it if Oh, that's very nice. Let's see if we can get him a whirlwind blade. One of the least damaging moves. <laughs> you abject failure. There we go. Happy days. 
<laughs> what a fight! Jesus, I'm actually enjoying watching it and I'm the one playing it. Nice! Look, look at that! Look how good that! His idle animation is just brilliant. Come on, Broly. You think you're hard, do you? <laughs> Punch in the nuts. Yes. SpongeBob Black Pants. <laughs> oh my god, that's the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. <laughs> this is SpongeBob Black Pants. Wow. Right, we're using that definitely. Elegant Blaster, I think so. Boosh! No more Mr. Loser guy. <laughs> what? That's amazing. I wonder what combo chain he's got. Whatever it is, I'm beating the shit out of Margin Boo. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> is that is that all it does? Have a Krabby Patty throws a Krabby Patty at him, but it does like no damage. Have a Krabby Patty. Oh, it's throw rock. <laughs> oh my God! As if that worked. Death. Ugh, what? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Super Sponge! Ugh! Damage! Don't worry! Fuck! <laughs> Never mind. Victory! Ugh! Boosh! Don't get stuck. No! He's got stuck, he's lost forever. This map was a mistake. <laughs> Have a Krabby Patty! <laughs> Someone is dead. You know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. Thank you, Stanley. I'm gonna start off with. Let's start off with Ultron. Hello. That was unexpected. I thought he'd be taller. What has gone on with my head? <laughs> um, oh my god, as if. Get wrecked, son. You're done. Death. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. <laughs> Massive combo. Go away. <laughs> Damage. <laughs> Wrecked! What was that animation? What is that face? And I just realised that's Cooler's voice, not Doctor Doom. <laughs> We're off to an amazing start, aren't we? What? <laughs> Delayed much? <laughs> Boosh! So, that has been this year's recap of 2018. 2019 awaits us all. Interestingly, going into it with 900 freaking subscribers, hopefully we'll get quite a few more in the coming year. We're going to continue the builds. We're going up to phase 7. Might even do some bonus builds at the end as well that aren't to do with the main continuity of these characters. You never know. We're going to continue versus battles all the way to the end of Dragon Ball Super as well as the movies and what-if battle scenarios. Going to do as many stock guides as humanly possible. We're going to do more now for something completely different. Even more videos that we haven't even tried to do yet. I've got a big list of ideas that I haven't even done for videos yet. New videos for the series that we've already started. So there's lots more videos to come, trust me on that. The, the idea well isn't running dry anytime soon. So I'd like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed so far. It's been an amazing year so far. I've had lots of fun reading all your comments and all the likes and stuff that you've been leaving. And all the nice feedback. And a super special thank you to everyone on the Discord who's come and talked about Xenoverse and just been awesome and been there to talk every day. It's been really nice getting in touch with people behind the comments section. So, until then, stay tuned for the next exciting year of Axonius Rex.